My name is Samad Tolukbay. I'm a journalist, researcher, and descendant of great nomads. My ancestors had wandered through these steppes for centuries, followed their herds in search of the best pastures. The cattle was always their main capital. What are they now? The descendants of the great cattle breeders. The school of nomads studying the past, creating present in order to build the future. Today in the program, when the Caspian was the ocean, sturgeon is a prehistoric fish. How sturgeons are rescued in Kazakhstan. The Caspian is the largest closed reservoir on Earth. This is the largest drainless lake because of the giant dimensions called the sea. And also because its bed is made up of the Earth's crust of the oceanic type. And there is an explanation. Because the Caspian is what is left of the Tethys Pelly Ocean, which raged here almost one billion years ago. Today the Caspian is a relic sea, with an area of over 350,000 square kilometers. Heir to the Great Tethys, located at the junction of Europe and Asia. It is washed by the banks of five states, has picturesque bays and unique peninsulas. One of them is Mangushlak. So I came to Mangistau. When they talk about Western Kazakhstan, the Martian landscapes, white mountains, oil and of course the beautiful Caspian Sea come to mind immediately. But this time I learned a lot of new interesting facts about this unique land. It seems that the old Caspian has saved a lot of stories in its depths. According to scientists in the world, over 20,000 species of fish live in the sea. Many of them are found on the Caspian Sea. Most of all, this sea is famous, of course, for the sturgeon, which today, unfortunately, is on the verge of extinction. Sturgeon species of fish have important commercial value. They were originally called redfish for the special value of meat and the famous black caviar. So today's program we decided to devote to sturgeon. Hello. Hello. How are you? Thank you. I'm fine. My name is Samat. I came from Almaty. When they talk about Mangistau, we all immediately imagine the Caspian and of course the famous sturgeon. I am pleasantly surprised that you're breeding the species of this fish on such a special farm. Therefore, I came first of all to you. I want to see how the sturgeon farm works, how to care for the fish. Don't you mind showing to me? Of course, everything will be shown. We will tell and teach you. Come along. Thank you. Previously, sturgeons in the Caspian Sea had more than 80% of the world's total reserves. But the catch volumes of fish grew. Maximum rate was in the 70s of the last century and reached 29,000 tons per year. The population of this valuable fish is seriously decreased by poachers and anthropogenic interference in nature. 
In order to stop the disappearance process, in 2014, all the countries of the Caspian Basin agreed to stop the sturgeon fishery. But in the Mangastau region, people found a wonderful alternative. For example, the company Kazakh Osirer cultivates the royal fish on a special farm. Our farm started its work in 2014. Large specimens, which you saw, we then delivered first. They were of 2 gram. We took them at the Atrau Fish Factory. This enterprise is engaged in breeding and increasing the number of sturgeons in the state program. They grow them directly from caviar. Then they let out into the sea. What part of the fry they sell to small farms like us. They also allow us to breed certain species of fish, which we supply to fish stalls. Sturgeon belongs to the most ancient species of fish. According to scientists, they lived 85 million years ago. Yes, they are contemporaries of dinosaurs. Today, 26 species of sturgeon fishes are reckoned in the world. Over 100 species of fish and other marine animals inhabit the Caspian Sea. The most valuable fish are sturgeon. This species have a long lifespan. The sturgeon was called redfish because of its value. The average weight of some species reaches 12 kilograms, but there are individuals whose weight reaches 35 kilograms. The skeleton of sturgeon consists of cartilaginous tissue. There are no vertebrae, and the cord is preserved throughout the life of the fish. Body sturgeon-shaped, strongly elongated devoid of scales and covered with five rows of special scutes bugs, diamond-shaped bone scales. Most of the sturgeon breeds have puberty. So in nature, males need from 8 to 18 years and females are able to spawn only at 16 years. In artificial reserves, sturgeon can give the first litter earlier after seven to eight years. So the breeding of these fish is a troublesome business. What other features does this fish have that distinguish it from other species? It is appreciated all over the world. We Mangastau citizens try to treat this fish to only the most distinguished guests. We cook beshpamak from it. Sturgeon is easily digested. It can be served even at a late supper. It has a number of useful properties. It has a beneficial effect on the eyesight, cardiovascular and endocrine systems of the human body. Seafood has always been among the most useful. The meat of any fish, not only sturgeons, has a beneficial effect on the eyesight and the cardiovascular system. Scientists have long proven that people living near the sea are less sick, live longer. And the whole thing in the products that they use, 90% of the dose are seafood, which are rich in minerals and microelements. Of course, I wondered, what do the fish that live in such artificial reserves eat? As the employees of the farm explained to me, the sturgeons get food with a full complex of necessary vitamins and minerals. For a long time, Kazakhstani fish farms used only imported food, as they were not produced in the country. But recently, it turns out Aktobe operates a combine that produces our domestic fish food. Import substitution, of course, pleases. Moreover, our feed, according to fish farmers, by no aspects concedes to overseas brands. And now I will feed the sturgeon with this food. How many grams in this bowl? It's all indicated in the scale. For example, here we have 900 grams. 
Yes, 900. So we gave this rate in the morning at 9 o'clock. And now at lunch, there must be the same amount of food. Is that enough? Yes. Can I feed them? Sure. I just spill out. There are no subtleties. No, no. Now then, I'm going to feed the fish. Thus, fish farmers feed their pets. Of course, the amount of food varies depending on the age of the fish and their number in the tank. I wanted to feed everyone, in plenty and indiscriminately. After feeding the fish, it turns out to be necessary to clean the pools. How many times a day do you do this? Filter twice a day. We fed them twice and made cleaning twice. How is the cleaning process going on? With help of these special brushes, every shift has its own brushes. By then we collect everything that has accumulated at the bottom of the pool. Here we pour water. That's how you let it go. Yes, we're going down from here. I think there is nothing complicated. Can I try? Sure. Actually, after a meal, the pool should be carefully cleaned. All that is there at the bottom you need to clean. After all, only pure water will grow a healthy fish, and it will grow faster. On the farm, there is a special laboratory that monitors the water quality. Every day, its employees take samples, examine them, and keep under control all 38 basins. We all know that sturgeon is appreciated by its black caviar. On the farm they prepared a surprise for me. Here they promised to treat me with real black gold. So together with Bayan, we'll catch fish to get caviar. How do we choose? This is sterlet. That must be caught. Black colored. Yes. The sterlet is also a type of sturgeon. This is a commodity fish, which is convenient to grow on the farm. Because the sterlet grows rapidly and always spawns a large number of eggs. Honestly, I feel sorry for this fish, but sterlet is breeded here for this reason. Do we get red or black caviar? Black. Yes, I see, here it is. I thought it would be more. All depends on the size of the fish. Is that all? Can you eat it? No, we need to prepare it salted. There are own recipes. Yes, about how correctly to salt caviar, here no one will tell. Because everyone has his own subtleties. So neither I nor you will know how black caviar is prepared for consumption. So, I give you caviar. I'll try it as soon as I'm ready. And I will certainly share my impressions with you. Of course, I am glad. When and where I still try the real black caviar, it is not known. While it will be cooked, I went to another unique place in the hotel, Caspian Rivera Grand Palace. Because this is where more than 350 fish live in an aquarium with a capacity of 1 million liters of water. All of them are sturgeon breed. Out of 26 existing species in the world, 6 are still represented here. I admit, I was pleasantly surprised. After all, 
This aquarium and all surgeon in it is not just an ornament of the hotel, but part of a remarkable scientific project. Our first goal was a scientific experimental part. Then we got to try to incubate the eggs. We got it. Good output. Then we had another goal. We wanted to increase it to the commodity mass. So all we got, all is well. Now we just had a goal to get caviar. Today we got caviar. Note, immediately, they get caviar here, but they do not kill fish. This center conducts exclusively scientific works and uses the newest technologies of fish farming used throughout the world. In this scientific center, to get caviar, scientists have learned to milk the sturgeon. By the way, and caviar is not got here as a food product, but what would bring the fry in captivity? The unique ability of them, and what allowed them by the way to reach our time, is the ability to acclimatize to a new condition to different conditions, and we have checked the facts while doing various experiments. Our sturgeon that lives in the Caspian Sea is the fish that makes cathedromy kind of migration from the sea to the rivers. It goes up into the rivers, spawns not directly into the rivers, and returns back and goes into the sea. Yes. Sturgeon is unique in that it is able to live in both marine and fresh water. For example, in nature, a sturgeon emerges from the sea into the rivers during spawning. Because sturgeon caviar cannot survive in salt water. Later when the eggs will appear, fry and grow up a bit, they once again run from the rivers into the sea. The Kazakhs even have a saying, the sturgeon will not return to the sea until it's stranded in the river. I was pleasantly surprised that Alexander and his team treat their pets as children. Another interesting point is fish treatment. If the fish is sick in the early stage, Let's say on the stages of cure, it can be cured only by preventive methods. It is impossible to divide the sick ones and put them in the quarantine. Because this whole process of catching bacteria happens immediately and all get sick. We have to carry out a complex treatment. On a small stage, not all antibiotics work. And to give an antibiotic is a bad idea, despite the fact that people get accustomed to it. Fry cannot tolerate injections of antibiotics well, and therefore they are added to feed in the treatment. And after the fish must be given various probiotics and vitamins, which would normalize the intestinal microflora and improve immunity. Yes, unfortunately, fish like all living organisms have the property of being sick. But Alexander, to prevent all sorts of fish ailments, vaccinates his pets and even gives vitamin. I will take part in this too. And so we count. Samat, from the head between the third and fourth box. One, two, three, four. Here in this area with the right side. Well tried. Here I put? Yes. I saw how they give injections to animals, but for the first time I see how that fish is given injection and even vitamins. Care is at the highest level. And these guys, bread sturgeon, not for sale, or what to eat. The main goal is to grow and release fish in the sea. Here already conducted experiments on adaptation. 
in a separate tank with fish scientists gradually changed fresh water to the sea. As a result, the sturgeon got absolutely stress-free in salt water. Very soon it can be released into the real sea. We have already been told that people like to cook Beshwar from sturgeons. And to come to the Caspian Sea and not taste this dish will be a big omission. And since these fish cannot be found, I went back to the farm of Kazakh Oseter, where they breed the commodity sturgeon. Friends, so Western Kazakhs dish is Beshpermak from fish, in this case, from the sturgeon. I want to learn how to cook this fish. Do you boil this fish in water? Where do we start? As you see, we have a clean sturgeon on it. Here's its head. We breed five types of sturgeon on the farm. Now we have a Russian sturgeon. This species lives in the Caspian Sea. Tursungul, it turns out, we have already cleaned our sturgeon. It remains for me to divide the meat into pieces and put everything in the cauldron. Although fish is large, but it is easy to cut it. I cut into parts our sturgeon. Now we put it into a cauldron. Put head first. Fish, this is not beef or lamb. Cooked quickly, a maximum 35 minutes. In the meantime, we start with repairing the dough. So here we have a dough for our beshpramak. Yes, we put the fish in kazan. It's still brewed. We pre-boiled potatoes. It will be added too. And we have prepared the dough. Everything should be done quickly. Because again, the fish is prepared very quickly. So we will start preparing the dough. Ingredients as in the general beshpramak. Flour, soda, salt and eggs. I understand the dough is no different from the classic. Yes, now you know, many use ready-made doughs, but it's not as tasty as the dough cooked with your own hands, especially to sturgeon. It is better to prepare the dough by yourself, it's more delicious. And so, I roll the dough. On this project, of course, I did a lot of things, but I rolled the dough for the first time. Roll and cut. We'll cook it in fish broth. Well, it's very tasty. Bon appetit! So, friends, if you are in Mangastau, I strongly recommend that you try the Beshpramak from Sturgeon. It's incredibly delicious. Many thanks. All this is due to the existence of farms that breed sturgeons in special reserves, whether it is a farm or even a five-star hotel. After all, the goal of all these wonderful people whom I met today to satisfy a sophisticated consumer. Having put fresh quality fish on the shelves while simultaneously preserving and multiplying the population of these amazing fish in the Caspian Sea. Therefore, black caviar, whose price we consider too high, is really priceless. After all, its price is the preservation of the species of sturgeon fishes.